time. So double dragon. It's your boy. Hey man. It's your boy Lycan. We back with some new heat for y'all today. Hey, who just texted you? That was you. Oh. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure y'all hit that notification bell so y'all can see our latest videos. Okay, what's next? We're about to talk about this uh top five most annoying monsters in Monster Hunter World. We know y'all gonna agree with us because these monsters freaking get on my nerves. Like I freaking hate them. Hate like, them. I, I like some of their armor, but I don't like fighting them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, I could really just name all the monsters being annoying. They could be all of them and just rank them, but every monster in the five. game. Yeah, I hate all of them. Yeah, well, let's do the top top five. Top five. And we just absolutely just annoy the freak out of us. Okay. You want to start? You want to just run it up and get this over with? Let's get it. I just run it up. All right, coming in at number five. Number five? You know what I'm saying? Was the sand in your shoes? I don't know. G. I do not like fighting the Diablos. The, this Diablos? It's... First of all, it got a lot of HP. Okay. And a lot of brute force attack. Yes. And lots. every time I go in the hub and I find people on this quest, yeah, they most of the time die fighting the Diablos. Pretty much. Uh, it's it, it's kind of one of those like the brutes are are normally the easy ones, but not this one. Right. This one is the hardest. One of the hardest brutes. Bro, the tail is long as heck. If you do a tail swipe, it takes up half the map. Of the area you in goes on the ground and it swims pretty much. Swims. I'm talking about the the screamers don't work as good on no, here. No, they're not effective at all. You got to like really hit them at the right time when it's underground to really make it to really make it work. Yes, did his his whole move set just makes it very hard to just just land any type of DPS. It's just very difficult right. to fight him because right. he's so aggressive. And once right. you get hit. You gotta heal. You gotta heal. You gotta heal. He, he knocking off some health. You don't want to fight him lower than seventy five percent because he can knock that whole thing off. Right. He easily. can knock that. And then he's high, like his stature st sits high, so it's hard to hit his weak spot. Yes. A lot. And his his layer is low key one of the most interactive layers yeah. that we got in the game for world. Like he yeah. actually has attacks in his layer that he just yeah. pops out and just. Yeah. Try to truck you. Yeah, you think he gone. The next thing you know, this dude hop out the dang old saying. I'm like, bruh. But Nobody else does that. This Crazy. is my, this is, I don't like fighting. This is number five, y'all. This is number five. It's number five. So number five, we got Diablos. Number nice. four. Number four. Uragon. Is that how you say it? You're, you're a guy. I you're think a that's guy. how you say it. You're a guy. Oh, my gosh. Roly man. Oly Poly, man. Roly Oly Poly, freak, bro. Bro, this not, this not annoying to y'all. All the rolling, Dude, all the look. balls, pause, pause. I said pause. Kind of smiled when you said that. I didn't smile. We can record. We can go back and see. Replay the clip. Anyway, okay. you're a guy. Once he starts getting in that rolling phase, yes. this dude rolls forever. I'm talking about you don't never know when he's going to stop You rolling. can't stop unless you got a trap. Yeah, unless you make him roll into a trap or something Which like is that. so random. Look where he can roll everywhere. Yeah, and it takes off a decent amount of health, too, if he hits you with that. Then he's dropping off, you know, the little fire gum drops. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, this stuff, this stuff is crazy, bro. It's like a rolling... It, it, it's similar to the rolling version of another monster we have on the list, but I don't want to give a spoil away. You, know? spoil. Just, spoil. you just gave it away. I said, I don't want to say the name. They might not know. <laughs> you might not be that far in Monster Hunter yet. You feel me? Right. But yeah, this is this is mad annoying, man. Like mad annoying. Not saying we're just talking about annoying. We're not talking about like the hardest to kill or nothing like that. Yes. But they are annoying to have to deal with these certain. Like things. we know we can beat them. It's just annoying. We just right. got to deal with this. It's right. like we don't feel like doing this. Right. Let's just hit number three. Number three. All right, number three. Let's go ahead and hit number three. Mmm. 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 Bro, have y'all fought the Kyrie yet? You know what I'm saying? If you haven't, you probably won't understand why this is annoying. But this dude power is freaking crazy, bro. OP. And it shocks you like it every, shocks every, every second. Sec every second, every second this dude is doing a shocking move. Bro. Every second. Like, what the freak? Like, every move Kid Loki hit you. Right. And he's strong. Like, you need to have your thunder resistance up. You know what I'm saying? Fighting this Kyrie exactly. for sure. 
You know what I'm saying? It's agile. Got that little back, you know, horse kick thrust. You know what I'm saying? And then it just shocks the freak out of you, bro. Like, every second, bro. He's, he's, he's literally one of the one monsters that can magic attack you while you on the floor from another hit. Right. Like, he, like, combo, that's not he fair. literally comboing you, bro. It's like, not fair. Like, so, yeah, it's a cheat code. Yeah, it's crazy, Kyron is bro. the cheat code of Monster Hunter. I don't like facts. Them, simple as that. We can beat them easy. Well, I ain't gonna say super easy, but, but, but you just we know to how to worry. beat them. You got to worry about all of his uh, his shock and attack moves while you're fighting them. You can't just like DPS him, you know, just in one spot for no, a certain amount of time because he's gonna freaking shock the freak out. I think I think the Kyron is the one thing that I got ready for. Armor stat wise, like I was like, oh, I gotta get my thunder up. Right. Like everybody else, I was like, yeah, it was like it wasn't that bad. This bro, this dude, you need at least plus fifteen on your thunder resistance, bro. Cause I had fifteen and he hit me with something, bro. My stuff up to like forty seven. I, <laughs> I didn't work at all. I, I don't want to touch me. I don't this touch man me, hit bro. me with something that almost KO'd me, bro. I'm done, bro. So, yeah, if you ever get in a Kyrie fight, make sure your Thunder Resistance is up and make sure you bring the money, man. This dude ain't playing with you. Facts. That's why he's number three on our list. Number three. But well, yeah. who could be more annoying than these three that we done said? Hey, easy. Let's go to the next one. Number two. Number two. Number two. Let's hit it. Number two, we got... The Kushaladora. Kushaladora. Man, bro. I, <sighs> I don't know where to begin, but I'm going to start with... Bring your flash bombs. Hold on. Can, can, can I scream at the Monster Hunter community for a second? Go ahead, G. Monster Hunter community, I love y'all with, 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 with the deepest of my heart. But if you go into a Kushaladora quest and you don't bring <laughs> your flashes, you're hurting the team. Honestly. Hurting the team. All 10 of hurting them. Hurting the team. Plus the three already that you can uh, Bruh, craft. So you I'd be have having 13. like 60. You better have something in your freaking box. Go back and get some more in your box. Man, bro, you need to be able to do that, bro. You don't got no flash bombs. Don't play. Like, don't nobody want to play with you. Facts. You can at least then, you can at least have three flashes. Not only do you got to worry about flashing the wind in the sky, but then you got to worry about this freaking wind gust everywhere. And if you don't have his armor to, you know, negate wind pressure. It's over with. Bro. You get blown it's across the world. super mad annoying, bro, trying to hit this man when he's on the ground. When he's throwing his wind gusts everywhere, it's knocking you everywhere, mm-hmm. bro. Mad annoying, bro. Especially if you flash him, like, and he's in his tornado still. Right. You can't reach him. Facts. What you flashing him for? Facts. You got to flash him when he try to comes out a little bit. Farming him is a pain, bro. Yes. It's yes. definitely a pain. So flash bugs galore. If you don't have those, this is going to be the most annoying monster because he's going to be in the air the whole time. This right. is why he's number two. Right. And number then- two. To have an easier time, like he said, flash bomb, flash bombs, yep. and then use his armor to mm-hmm. negate wind pressure, and then you, then you'll be good. But if you have don't have fun. that, say goodbye, my friend. Have fun, have fun playing this. Say I goodbye. mean, who could be worse than somebody that stays in the air twenty four seven, has wind gusts? Who could be worse than this? Hey, number one. Uh, I'm scared. Number one, we got oh Basil, bitch. Yeah, bleep that out. Take that. Can't stand this dude, bruh. Every time. Every every area we bruh, go to. Every monster we fight. This man comes out of nowhere with his little... Dropping Fat turds everywhere, piece of shit. bruh. Yeah, bleep that out, too. All these balls he's throwing around. Ain't that so much editing, man? Huh? All these curse words. I'm expressing. True. I hate this thing. This thing get on my nerves, Who bruh. in the Capcom workforce... It was like, oh, let me draw this up. Oh, he gets to explode people and he gets to dive at them like he's right. a plane. He got a B- B-52 freaking airplane freaking move. He dive. blows fire. Blows fire. fire. Explodes with his tail. Look at this, bro. Explodes with his chest. My his kneecaps gosh. glow. Don't let him be enraged, too. Like He lands at people. You try to go hit his tail, all you see is a turd drop blow you up out of nowhere. Blows bro. fire. I said that already? Mm-hmm. Bruh. Trying to get close to him, he just dropping turds every second, bro. I can't. And he and he shows up at every fight in bro, high rank. Every fight, this dude is there, bro. I'm sitting here like, bro, if you don't have dug bombs to shoot him and make him fly away, he's gonna. Annoy I'm I'm pretty the crap certain 
Yeah. That people throw dug bombs at him the most in any game. Yeah, they need to no, look up, any other monster. Look at this, this that stat. Like how many times does he get shit? That's probably why his things like this because he just pooped on him all the time. <laughs> Honestly, I, that's that looks like he's accurate. Facts. And yeah. his power just turned poop into to fire. That's poop dropping, bro. That's crazy, bro. Flame and poop. <sighs> yeah. So oh, done. Basil Geese is the number one number most one, annoying monster to fight in Monster Hunter World. This was not the most hardest. This was not the most easiest. This was the most annoying, annoying. monsters. Yeah. If you agree with this list, please comment down below. Facts. If you think our list, if you think we missed anybody. Right. Comment down below. What you think you should? What you think should have been up on the top five? Who you think number one? Who you think? What's your two, three, one? four, five? Right. You know what I'm saying? Let us know. We love y'all, man. Roll to 500 subscribers. We got a special treat at 500 subs, um, for y'all. But we appreciate y'all, Double Dragon Fire Nation.